all right? So the attacker is over here. The officer is behind here. From this particular position, as this, as this attacker begins to assault in, you'll notice that what he does initially in that video is he denies access to this area. So he's putting rounds downrange on the column in both directions, but he denied access to this direction, and then he made his move over to here. Because if this guy thinks that he cannot move in this direction, then he ends up getting pinned behind the column, and when this guy cuts the angle, he's got the angle on the attacker, or on the uh, officer, rather. I'm here, and I come out, and I begin to put fire down from here. I'm looking to make this guy come back into here. I can either stay behind the column, or if I push him and he goes this way to use this piece of column for cover, then what that does is that allows me the opportunity to escape the area. All right, so I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea on how you can go about using cover, how you can use different depths of cover, assaulting in, pulling back, lining that cover up, denying access with your weapon. But I want you to keep in mind that there is a whole lot more that goes into urban type tactics than just sitting on a drawing board, okay? We can cover the basic principles and the premise and, and things like this, and that will give you a mindset for strategy. But when it all comes down to it, you got to get out there and do it. Okay, force on force is the only way to learn the lessons about maneuvering and people counter maneuvering on you. So I wanted you guys to think about this. We're going to continue this series that we're doing, talking about cover, using cover. Um, we're going to talk about it for vehicles, corners, how to set yourself up with your body so that you can have that kinesthetic alignment around the corner and so on and so forth. So, all right, you guys train hard.